Is it the cold that freezes your fingers off that prevents you from using your bike in the winter? I found an accessory that can reduce some of that misery. And it's not battery-operated gloves. Hang in there and I'll tell you all about it. In the fall, I wear these lightweight gloves made by head, and I find that they keep my fingers warm when the temperature is above 0 Celsius or 32 Fahrenheit. But when it gets below freezing, I need to wear my ski gloves. But when the temperature reaches below minus 10 degrees Celsius or 15 Fahrenheit, my thumbs begin to freeze. One drawback is that the buttons on the control are more difficult to select than with the light gloves. Then I can wear my Cree Indian mitts and they are good down to minus 15 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Fahrenheit. And until now I had no solution for temperatures below minus 15. A couple of drawbacks with these mitts. Because they are stiff, they make using the brake levers less comfortable and the buttons on the control are difficult to use. Last year I dished out $119 for a pair of battery operated heated gloves on Amazon, but they were no warmer than my ski gloves so I returned them. One solution that works reasonably well is disposable hand warmers, but they result in the production of waste that can't be recycled. They're a little cumbersome to use when holding handlebars. They only warm the palms of your hands and they cost $2 a shot. A solution that seemed worth trying popped up on my computer screen. It was a Rad Power Bikes advertisement for big handlebar mitts. Two weeks later, a happy day, the Purolator delivery truck arrives and I take delivery of my package. Believe it or not, I did what I usually only do as a last resort. This time, I wouldn't have needed to take the trouble of reading the instructions because they're so darn simple. Here's how these are made. They have a flexible joint here in the side. They have a fairly large opening for inserting your hand. And for attaching them to the handlebars, there's an opening here which can be closed with a zipper. And another little opening here which can be closed with a Velcro, uh, a Velcro like that. Start by removing the cap at the end of the handlebar. Then feed the mitt on top of the handlebar. Now cap that comes with it in the end of the handlebar. It's very stiff because it's very cold outside. It's about minus 10 Celsius now so that's why it's so stiff. The Nalin key. There that should be enough. Now we get, uh, go on this side and close it up. So just close this zipper and then close the Velcro tabs. This will go here and this will go like this. So that's it. That's all there is to it, to install it. This is a reflector. The opening is large enough to allow your hand to penetrate easily with a small glove and small enough to seal around the wrist. With a ski glove, it takes a bit of wiggling to get your hand into the mitt. Since you can't see what you're doing, the assistance level buttons are harder to operate. Also, the sound of the bell is muffled, so it's probably a good idea to use your voice to alert pedestrians of your approach. 
When riding in cold weather, I estimate that the mitts warm my hands by about the equivalent of 10 degrees Celsius, or about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Clearly better than the battery-operated gloves that I bought last year. As for the price, the handlebar mitts cost $109 Canadian plus $10 shipping plus taxes. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like more information about electric bikes or bicycle campers, visit my website www.robertberio.com. Thank you for your interest, and remember, never quit cycling!